Welcome back. This Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we've been highlighting ways to move forward and we've been highlighting survivorship. Our stories have taken us to Mercy Health, UC Health, and now St. Elizabeth Healthcare. For tonight's Positively Cincinnati, a way to tackle some tumors that wasn't standard of care when I had my own scare just five years ago. Even better, patients right here in the tri-state helped to make it possible. Um, is there anything scarier? I haven't experienced. No. No. This is the kind of find in a mammogram that takes the breath out of you. Tina Teagard knows because it was hers. You hear those words, you have cancer. What does that do to your soul? Uh, sends chills up my spine. Scared. I was scared that I wasn't going to be here for more. Just the fear. The pictures you see are from about a decade ago during her tough fight that included chemo and radiation. And now she has another battle. This imaging shows a small growth in her other breast. Tina's doctor, J. Michael Gunther, says her treatment likely will include post-surgery endocrine therapy, which has been around decades. But using it pre-surgery was not standard of care back when Tina waged round one. That therapy was part of a nationwide study St. Elizabeth participated in, and patients right here were part of the fact-finding. We were the nation's leader in women who wanted to participate in that study. Why should it give people reason to hope in this this fight against cancer and breast cancer? Well, we continue to make progress. It is beyond satisfying to get an answer right in front of you. It changes your practice. Specifically, treating postmenopausal women with tumors they can feel who are sensitive to hormones. And that covers a lot of patients. The therapy involves taking a tiny pill or an injection. The goal is cancer shrinkage. Dr. Gunther, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a before and after breast MRI. The before shows a large growth. The after, taken months later, illustrates disappearance of the disease. Over and over again, patients felt the change. They experience it. They would come in and say, I know it's smaller. I can feel it smaller. And it's incredibly satisfying to them and to us. And here's what that study at St. E's has meant for patients around the tri-state and beyond. Doctors can shrink tumors before diving into surgery. Does it mean lumpectomy versus mastectomy? Most of the time it meant lumpectomy instead of mastectomy. It basically allows them to salvage the breast. Doctors also, in a short time, can determine course of treatment. If your chemistry responds to endocrine therapy with measurable tumor reduction, traditional chemotherapy might not be necessary. We find out who needs chemotherapy and give it to them, but we don't have any of the blurring or guessing or assumptions that are made. So it's a more precise way to do things. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Points of hope to hold on to. You heard the doctor say we led the nation in women who enrolled in the study. That's notable because there's an altruism in that. People who don't want breast cancer to affect their daughters or their granddaughters. So they participate in fact finding that can make the path easier for the future. One final thought. The doc says people whose tumor markers shrank at a month were extremely likely for the breast cancer never to come back again.